Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there. I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video. And uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded, which means that you can take it on your own pace. And in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation, I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself. And at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana. That being said, the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show right um so we have Gemini and uh, the first thing that uh, we're going to have a look at is the love and relationship for a Gemini Sun Moon and as well rising in this uh, upcoming week. So let me finish the shuffle and see what you guys got. Right, so the first one is going to be the Three of uh, Cups. Moving next, that is going to be the Tower followed by uh, the Eight of Pentacles and uh, the last one here, that will be the Page of Wands. <laughs> oh, that tower, man. I mean, this card, falling especially into that position. Um, well, let's start with uh, the single people around, okay? So, um, uh, this week, if you do expect to meet somebody that is going to swipe your uh, feet off and you're going to fall in love instantly, well, that's exactly what may happen. Uh, now, unfortunately, though, um, it's not like the guy or the woman, they're going to be the wrong people, but you may get yourself involved with them for all of the wrong reasons if you give yourself to the common urge of that swiping your feet off. That is within the tower card. Now, what is important here to know, for those which are single though, uh, is that uh, before you actually make more solid commitment than just, you know, casual interaction, is that you need to see that there is a, a common vision or uh, that you do have similar interest, but above everything else, that you both are connecting with uh, the uh, emotionally with the same things around. So you, you need to have a compatibility. And that's why we do have the Eight of Pentacles into the um, third position of that particular spread, which pretty much points that you got to take the things uh, things easy uh, and slowly and as well the Eight of Pentacles is about paying attention to the details around. Okay, but if you are uh, single single like you don't have any person of interest around you whatsoever the eight of pentacles also points that this week you have to go out and pretty much display yourself in front of the world now the third position is conditional position that is something that you must do in order to manifest the three of cups which is the similar vision you know and uh the emotional connection so definitely if you are starving for love guys you you pretty much gotta go out you gotta take your butt off the couch and walk 
of your uh, walk through your front door you know and, and go out and, and date people around you know interact because what is the potential here with the page of wands at the end that that is where you do you you do experience something new the page, and you have to be open for it okay the page has to is always open for a everything new that it is uh, coming around but like i said the um involvement or rather like the fallout is it the fallout um it will happen suddenly uh in a sense of that before you know it you are going to be way too into that uh particular guy or particular girl uh, and it will be mutual but again the passion here may really destroy the cumulative vision that you may have moving forward into the future well or i will say it that way people do stupid things out of love right so uh for those that are in a in a relationship or uh in a marriage here with uh, the energies of those cards are pretty much pointing to um working things over in a sense of that's not exactly struggling but like opting to finding the the cause okay finding the cause to move forward in your uh in your relationship or in your marriage now that doesn't necessarily means that your marriage or your relationship is on the rock here we are talking about something additional like you know maybe you may start contemplating for a for a child maybe you're gonna start contemplating for spending more time together and those kind of stuff and here it's all about finding a way how to do it because as the tower sits it will require a, a, a dramatic shift in your routine in generally of how your uh, relationship stands but what will provoke at the end uh, as the page stands as well it is the awareness or rather like the realization that this marriage or that relationship it is much more stronger than you thought it is and is much more resilient to uh, exterior influences and as well that definitely can go for something brand new and for for some in generally you know new thrilling and exciting experiences um uh, that being said if you do plan to for example propose uh engagement say or, or say something kind of like propose a something that will um change or transform your relationship or your marriage you have to do it in a rather milder fashion okay uh, you should not drop the bombs that is what i'm trying to say here so that being said this was your relationship reading guys now moving next we do have the uh career so let me let me shuffle the cards and see what you are to experience there So the first one is the Page of Swords. Uh, moving next, we do have the Two of Pentacles, uh, followed by the Sun card. And the last one we have here, that is going to be the Seven of Cups. So those a um, four cards. Right, so uh, this, uh, this week is gonna be rather a bit rough in a sense of that there will be many things for you to do. And it will cause a lot of, if you will, conflicts around. It is because your job, will need to be involved with someone else's job and it will be like you know um, a mesh that is happening in between everybody's jobs around and that being said uh, you will pretty much will have to kind of like uh, make compromises people will have to make compromises with you as well and, and in generally interests are going to be intercepted now important thing here to be acknowledged it is that um most of the arguments that you may have with the people around, with your co-workers or with your boss, with your supervisor, uh, they're rather pointless because neither you will be able to convince them in your points of view, neither they will be able to convince you in your points of view. But what will convince you both, I mean you both, 
into the uh, into the point of view is the um, the natural unfoldments of the project that you are working at. Okay, and that is pretty much described here by the Sun card. So whatever the situation is, it's very important throughout the week itself to maintain as much as you can the positive attitude and the good relationships that you do have with your co-workers and with, uh, with your boss. I mean, you, may, you, you, you are maybe dying to say something inappropriate into their face, like to curse them or something like that, but that will seriously, severely damage, you know, your capability to grow into the company and into the business itself. Now, should you be able to gnash your teeth and keep your tongue behind them? Uh, the, uh, the work done throughout this week will offer you a expanding energies of growth and as well a monetary expansion also going forward, uh, going forward into the future. Uh, important things as well, it is that uh, to acknowledge it is that the structure and the plan has already been done and you should not change it by any circumstances, even if it is very, very tempting to do things the, uh, the sideways or in a way that have not been planned okay, uh, originally. So what happens here at the end with the Seven of Cups? Well, that card is very, very broad in a sense of that um, it points to a few things. Now, the first one that may say it is that uh, you may think that things are not going very well. well uh, actually, they are going exactly as they are supposed to go. Well, I will try to say it that way. Seven of Cups, uh, when we read in term of career in that particular position, it kind of shows a lack of negative impact, okay? You may have anticipated that there will be some negative consequences of whatever actions or of whatever business maneuvers, but that's not the case. The most that can happen with the Seven of Cups, it is just a disappointment that will allow you to repeat the things this time around being able to do them the right way. And also the Seven of Cups, it is the card points that whatever fantasies you do have, they may actually become true in the distant, uh, in the distant future. And that week will, if not lay the foundation for that to happen, will give you the clues how you can go for that. Those who are uh, looking for a job uh, with those weeks uh, or throughout this week, those cards are pointing. Just only one thing, it is that uh, you should not give up on the idea what kind of a job you are looking for and keep on searching for it because eventually you are going to find it, okay? So that being said, guys, this was uh, the Gemini uh, weekly tarot readings for a uh, relationship and career. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.